How is it going everybody? Mike Monty here and today we are on a very awesome game Mortal Kombat 2 remastered in 2023 and if you're wondering how is it remastered well I'll show you there is combos in this game there is all the hidden characters unlocked in this game there is all the bosses unlocked in this game see you can play as noob Saibot, Jade, Smoke it's very cool but in today's playthrough, I'll be playing as my favorite character, Scorpion. And anyways, if you guys enjoy these types of videos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. So yeah, if you guys want to play this game, I will leave a link in the description for a tutorial on how to download this game because it is a bit tricky. But yeah, it's got combos. Pretty cool. Very cool in my opinion. And I never really played Mortal Kombat 2 growing up. I was always a Mortal Kombat Trilogy and Mortal Kombat 4 guy, but this game is still very cool and I like it a lot, especially with combos. Oh, look at that fatality. fatality. Boom, here we go. Already on to Baraka. But, you know, this... I, I've said it in other videos before, but this Mu Mugen uh, collection of all these remastered games, by far my favorite Mugen collection ever. Or my favorite Mugen games. And also, the combos in this... I'll show you guys the move list right now for Scorpion, because he plays a lot different than regular Mortal Kombat 2, but he plays just like Mortal Kombat 3. He's got Spear, Teleport Punch, Slide Punch, Air Throw. Here's his combos, High Punch, High Punch, Low Punch, High Punch, High Punch, High Kick, High Kick, High Kick, High Kick, Low Kick, Low Kick, High Punch, High Punch, High Punch, and High Punch, High Punch, Low Kick, High Kick, High Kick. And here's the finishers. We will do all three today. And yeah, they're pretty cool. Oh, look at that combo. Did you see that? So here's the second fatality. Boom. And again, for all these Mugen games in this collection, the AI up until, I guess, the 30, about 30%, you could constantly just keep comboing them. So, very easy. Yeah, like, very easy. But, you know, gotta say, really love this game. I know, if you're, wonder if you, if you're wondering, like, oh, the timer's, like, just infinitely going. Well, yeah, that's a setting I chose. Dude, that one combo is ridiculous, by the way. Oh, my God. Okay. Here's a third fatality. Just really cool stuff. Man, I love this game. And this was actually the first Mortal Kombat where, uh, Mortal, uh, <laughs> sorry. This was the first Mortal Kombat where Reptile was actually playable. Because in Mortal Kombat 1, he was just a hidden character. And as you can see in the background, you got Blaze and Hornbuckle, and they are very easy to see on this version. They're very obvious in the back, so pretty, pretty neat callback. And yeah, it's, it's just very, very cool. So I'll see if I could do the stage fatality on here. There we go. Very cool stuff. Oh, look at us reversing Sub-Zero. And also in this game... This is the first time we see Kwai Liang as Sub-Zero, because in the first Mortal Kombat, it is Bihan. But then, of course, you know what happens. My boy Scorpion uh, annihilates him. So, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, Scorp. But the Mortal Kombat lore itself can be very confusing for people who are new to this series. 
and you know there's several retcons and you know the reboots so I'm thinking for a uh, for a video idea I might go over the Mortal Kombat timeline but like very simplified so if you guys want to see that you know <laughs> leave a like and subscribe turn on post notifications all that because also I'm almost monetized and that is very exciting because I love making YouTube videos I love interacting with you guys I love just having like a community for Mortal Kombat and just other content that I post and you know if I get monetized I might be able to do this as like my job while I'm in school so that would be really cool I would love that but not even just the money I, I just love making YouTube videos and content it, it it's been a passion of mine since I was a little kid I remember I always wanted to make YouTube videos ever since fourth grade so you know it's it's pretty neat it's pretty neat that the fact that I'm able to actually do it as of right now even though you know compared to all the big youtubers I I make such a little footprint on this website it doesn't matter to me because the fact that I have 530 people that enjoy my videos it means the world to me and I mean I can't even express how how cool it is and how how good it makes me feel so I just I just want to thank you guys for that and you know once once I get a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours I could get monetized and then I'll be able to turn this into not only a hobby and a passion of mine but something that could help me live so that would be awesome yeah also if uh, I mumble or kind of rant or just like fudge up my words on here it is because I just got done driving from vacation I drove about three hours away from my house in, and I drove there and back in two days, so that's like six hours of driving, and that's the first time I've ever done that, so I'm very tired. I've been asleep all day, and this is this is the first thing I'm doing since I woke up. Mm, I'm also messing up some of my combos here. Oh, sorry if you hear my dog. Okay, but we're on Melina right now. This is also the first game that Melina would... I'm just giving you my mic. Oh my god, sorry guys, my dog was uh, being very aggressive, but, so, uh, yeah, let's see if I can beat Jax with no health left, because I just, oh shoot, oh <laughs> look at that comeback. Yeah, again, more combat too. This is also the first game Jax was in. Melina, Jade, Katana. They added a lot of, you know, fan favorite characters because the original game only had seven characters, which is crazy. All right, here we go. Toasty! There you go, Scorpion. Going to ham. Alright, now mirror match. Let's go. So this is... I think now the AI is going to block a lot. So I can't just do combos in a row. But you know, Mortal Kombat 2, it was a, a lot faster paced game than Mortal Kombat 1. Still had no combos though. But in this version with combos? Oh my god, it's so awesome. Feels extremely fast paced. And personally, like I've said before, this collection is a perfect way to relive classic memories of the old games. Especially if if you're not good with emulation or anything, this is the way to go. Because this is pretty faithful recreation of the games.
Gotta say. I didn't even mean to do that fatality. I was just walking towards him. Also, this is very easy fatalities to do for most of the characters. So, you know, as a kid, I, I could never get the fatality codes. But, but in this game, it's it's very easy. You just you either press forward, down, or back three times for respectively. This was also the first game that Shang Tsung was actually playable in. So, Mortal Kombat 2 was a first for a lot of things. There we go. Come on. Come on, Shang Tsung, you're toast. Shang Tsung is a very cool character, by the way. Really, really enjoy him. Shapeshifter is like such a sick thing in, in a fighting game, especially. Oh, wow. All right, and you're done. And you're done. There you go. How am I going to finish you? There. Hey, word. Oh, now we're on to Jade, which was a hidden character in this game. You could not actually play as her, but you could verse her. And now in this version, you can play as her. In this recreation. There we go, that should be it. There we go. Right now we're in Goro's lair, which is cool. This, I don't know if this soundtrack was in the original game, but it sounds pretty cool. I don't even know if she has that move in the in this game, in the original. Because I think that was added in Mortal Kombat 3. Yeah, I'll just do that. I got a little toasty. Alright. Congratulations. You have found the passage from the Outworld to the Earth Realm. Now you must battle with an undiscovered warrior from Mortal Kombat 1. Prepare yourself to return to the pit 2. Who am I versing? Oh, I'm versing a Hornbuckle. This is this is different from the original game, which is cool. Because people made theories about Hornbuckle and like they assumed that this guy in the back of the pit was Hornbuckle. Which is he's just Liu Kang with green headband. It was cool, all the rumors and theories that the Mortal Kombat community made. It was one of the coolest things about the arcade games. And also, if you could see, there's no background to the pit because we're actually fighting on the back pit where Hornbuckle and Blaze were fighting on. So, that's a very neat callback. Very cool. Um, it... I, I think it's frozen. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just takes a while against Hornbuckle, I assume. Alright. Oof. There we go. Just falling off the pit. Bang. Hornbuckle's done. Let's go. Now we're versing Kintaro. And all the sub-bosses. Also a really cool scene. But all the sub-bosses are very easy to beat in this game. Because you could just... Usually you could just kick him. Kintaro is the hardest, I believe. Motaro and Goro are the easiest to beat. Dang. Okay. Every time I say how easy they are, I always jinx it. Ah. Oh. 
Come on. There we go. Come on. Let's uh let's do this, guys. Oh shoot. So every time he oh, and you could just stop your combo mid combo, which is kind of scary. There you go. You're done. There it is. I just had to try hard a little. Poof. There we go. Now you know who we're versing. Shao Kahn. Let's do this. I really like this animation, by the way, how he jumps out of this stage. That's that's awesome. So Shao Kahn, this is the first appearance of Shao Kahn. Then he would appear in Mortal Kombat 3, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, and Mortal Kombat Trilogy as the boss again. And that time he's Rey in Earth Realm. But this is Outworld. We're in Shao Kahn's uh, Colosseum. And also, he's not that hard to beat in this game. Not that hard at all. Pretty cool, though. He might, he might beat me this, this round. Drop my combo. Dropped it again. And he's done. Boom. Shao Kahn's rule is over. Oh, and Sonya's in the background. She's stuck. She was captured by Shao Kahn. Alright, upon learning of Sub-Zero's reappearance, Scorpion enters Shao Kahn's tournament. He witnesses Sub-Zero spare the life of an opponent and realizes that this is not the same Sub-Zero who murdered him so long ago. He lets the ninja live and goes on to defeat the Outworlders in their unholy contest. More combat cast of characters. Yeah, th this version's pretty neat. And I want to show you guys really quick one of the hidden characters, uh, Smoke. He plays similar to Scorpion, I believe. And it's just cool, the fact that you could actually play as him in this game because he is not regularly playable until Mortal Kombat 3 where he is a cyborg and then a human in, in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 in Trilogy. So yeah, he's pretty cool. So his moveset is slightly different than Scorpion's. He does not have the forward teleporting punch. He just has invisibility instead. So let me see. I can't get to work. For the life of me. Well, you're going in the... There you go. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see me play as a specific character in this game, or if you want to play it yourself, you know, click the link in the description or let me know what character you want me to play as. And again, thank you guys so much for just watching my videos and enjoying them recently. I really, I mean, I, I love YouTube and I just love doing this all the time and recording for you guys. So yeah, just thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.